Hi, it's Ashley from Pine Haven Homestead. I wanted to show you what I am doing to get a mini greenhouse ready to go for starting seeds. We have a completely blank property that has zero landscaping, not much by the way of systems or infrastructure, so we are going to be creating that this year. But the previous owners of our property left behind this shelving unit that I am going to turn into a little mini greenhouse for starting some seeds. So I thought I would show you guys what I'm doing. So they left this little shelving unit behind. It is in like a, I don't know, a covered shop that is open on both ends. And so we are going to actually be moving this into our garage, which is going, which is unheated and detached. And so my plan is to take this and wrap it with some greenhouse sheeting and then I'll be able to plug in some grow lights and put in some heat maps heat mats excuse me to make it a little greenhouse kind of plant stand to start seeds for this coming spring and summer planting so the first plan of action is to pick it up and carry it to the garage so let's go ahead and take it there the whole thing is wrapped in this plastic and I just used some screws to put it in and then this is just kind of an overlap so I can access in here and so the plan is here um, I can still lift up the top and access up there as well uh, I will put heat mats down on each of the three shelves and then um, and then once the seedlings sprout, then I can hang some grow lights in there. And then by closing it up, and I tucked under the excess underneath the um, shelving system, the shelving unit, just to try to keep it as airtight and warm as possible, then I'll get the grow lights in there to uh, act as, you know, grow lights. And then I'll be able to close this up as needed until it gets warm enough that I can probably leave that open. But that is my little makeshift greenhouse for seed starting. I'm so excited to have this little mini greenhouse for seed starting this year since we have nothing on our property. And I love that I was able to make it with stuff that I already had on the property. So we already had the plastic sheeting because we got that to kind of insulate in part of our chicken coop area. And then we just had the screws that we brought over with us and then, like I said, the previous owners left in the shelf for us. So I'm just, I love that I was able to do it just with stuff that I had on hand. And all I need to do is get another grow, two more um, heat mats, and then two more grow lights, and I'm ready to go. Thank you so much for tuning into today's video. And I hope that you were able to come up with an idea for how you can create a greenhouse seed starting area for you and your property if you don't have a place in your home or already a greenhouse for that. Thank you so much for being here and be sure to subscribe below and hit the little bell for notifications so that you get notified when new videos are uploaded.